my fellow hysterians. I have had a huge number of yous out there write to ask how you too can become a member of the troll mob. Oh, you sad and lonely people. <sighs> Nonetheless, after a good belly laugh, I take your request seriously. And so we here at the Ministry of Aggravation want to share with you our rigorous yet compassionate treatment of troll mob applicants. As an example, I will now present an actual applicant, a Mr. Brian O'Halloran, going through the application process while being illegally recorded without his express permission. Or, as we trolls say, it don't count if you don't catch us. <laughs> During this interview, you will notice that I make use of the stringent employment interview guidelines issued by the United States Equal Employment Opportunity Commission, the EEOC. Ooh. And by make use, I mean that I completely ignore their ridiculous politically correct rules. Heck, if you can't ask discriminatory questions, where's the fun in interviewing somebody, huh? This is the way you interview a job applicant. Watch and learn. And I know that you are a candidate to be a troll. Well, I've been told I have the looks of one. You, you have the looks, you got, you got a little bit of personality, I've seen your movies. What are you saying? I'm saying that you could be a troll. Yeah, I know that. I am saying nothing more. No, what are you saying? See there, that's, see, see there folks, that's what I'm talking about. That's the quality you gotta have. But what you don't know, Mr. Brian O'Halloran Flappy Hicks, is that we, is that we have to go through a little process. Well, everybody has their legitimate means of doing things. Yes, but, all right, uh, but I do want you to know that I have read the U.S. Equal Employment Opportunity Commission guidelines for job candidate questions, okay. and I will be going by that list exactly. All right. What year were you born and where? Oh, well, that's easy. 1969 in Manhattan, New York City. Can you provide proof of legal citizenship? Oh, well, well I, I... Where did you learn Portuguese? Is it true that you're Irish? Oh, Brian Christopher yeah. Patrick O'Halloran. Okay. That ain't Japanese, my friend. Buddy, I'm going to need to know your position on leprechauns. Those little buggers drive me crazy. Oh, uh, we don't talk about that. That's one rule of leprechaun school. Don't talk about leprechauns. Wait a minute. You went to leprechaun school? There's no such thing. We're supposed to not talk about it. Thank you very much. Yeah. Are you currently on any medications? No, I'm good for now. Have you had any genetic tests to check your predisposition to something that will cause you to temporarily increase your company's insurance to skyrocket through the roof? Who's been telling you about my paperboy route? Do you own a car? Yeah. Do you live in it? All right, now we're talking my early 90s again, aren't yeah. we? Someone told yeah. you about my early 90 years. Uh, well, you got to make sure you have the ones that recline really far back. Yes. Yeah. yeah, hatchbacks are really great, too, because you can pop the hatchback and the inflatable yeah, yeah, yeah. mattress can stick out. That all and works. It, yeah, and so it works. You but, can yeah. live in your car and be a troll. Sure. Just as long as you've got internet service. Right, and, but, and it's best to park under bridges then. And who do you live with, and how are you related to them? Who do I love? Well, I love my mom. Yeah. I don't live with my mom anymore. Okay, you uh, sure about that? I'm positive. Okay, just checking. And then uh, I'm now living with my girlfriend of 26 years, and I, yeah. love, I love her to death. To death? Well, you know, uh, until one of us. And then I think we can fool around in the afterlife. I mean, isn't yeah. that what the oh, vows uh, are? Death let's hope so. Them. Right. Let's hope you can right. do whatever you want in the afterlife. Right. Exactly. Otherwise, why have one? Right. Like, what's the after for then? Like, like yeah. you know how everything after is supposed to be good. Like, uh, you know, you see yeah. a movie and then there's an yeah. after party. Yeah, it's like uh, before and after in those pictures where you're fat and then you're skinny. Right. Like By this... the way, I have to compliment you. You're looking very urbane and svelte. Oh, stop it. It's no, the, you are. It's the cave. Damp we makes are. me look skinnier. Yeah. The yeah, damper just... the environment, the skinnier I am. If I ever go to the Amazon, I disappear. Wow. Yeah. Well, let's try it. Uh, no, I'm not pregnant currently, and nor do I plan to be in any time future, unless there's some way in the future that men get pregnant, like a seahorse. Okay, I'm just telling you, us trolls are asexual, so we can do anything we want. All right. Hey, man, you do what you want to do. Do you have a bank account? Sometimes. Is it your own bank account? Well, it depends. If the Chinese guys are involved, then... You never know. You never know, Diane. Have you ever filed an illegitimate worker's comp claim, like on a fake injury? Well, I am an actor, so faking things come natural. I would, know. And would you know if I was faking it or not? No. Absolutely not. That's why you're such a good actor. I know. You're a, you're a liar. Yeah. Let me ask you this. Have you ever been arrested for maybe, uh, oh, I don't know, punching a small furry co-worker in the jaw? Not yet. Okay, good. I, I, that's an important one for me. Have you ever been convicted of a crime? <laughs> yeah. 
Are you affiliated with any sappy nonprofit organizations that do nice things for people? Sometimes they come by from table to table and ask for certain donations. Yeah, so? So, uh, I wouldn't call them sappy. Oh, I think uh, maybe they are. But, uh, you know, sometimes I'll help some furry animals from time to time. Sometimes oh. I'll help people with blood issues. And uh, some blood people issues. with the big cancer sometimes come by. And the I big C. Help. Yeah, the big C. What else would you like to tell me about your life, Brian O'Halloran, O'Halloran? Well, O'Halloran, O'Halloran, sounds like a law firm. You know what's really funny? Uh, we're, we are now in Mammoth Cave here. We are under Louisville, Kentucky. I just had this thought that in the Kentucky Hills, you got a whole different name. It's not O'Halloran, it's O'Halloran. Holla! See, yeah. there's Brian, O'Halloran. Yeah. <laughs> well, just so you know, yeah. like the, the, the apostrophe O, right? So Brian O apostrophe H-A, right, O'Halloran? Oh, the, the O was actually short for the word of. So of. I am Brian of the Holloran clan. Are you serious? That's a dead serious. That's an Irish, you know, thing back in the day. Wow. Yeah. So you're always like, you know, Frank McGinnis would be Frank of the clan of the, McGinnis. The clan McGinnis. Right. right. So that's the thing. I hear that you know your history. There you go. And I couldn't give a rat's ass. We're going to need all the details of your sexual orientation. Now, that's not about the job. I, I, I just would like to know. Like be what? Because, frankly, like right, what? I, I, position? I, what? Like orientation of the position? Yes. No. You're yes. Not, no. You're not going to tell me that? No. You're not going to tell me the favorite position? You haven't even bought me a drink yet. Usually that stuff happens after a couple of drinks, maybe. I, I, I just find In you weird to be, kind of dark bars. Kind of like this place. I, the bar. I find you to be a very attractive man. I'm just saying. Oh, thank you. Yeah. 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 There's a line of five other people out here that I saw. Yeah, like, but they don't have your fame and fortune. Uh, they were not a clerk. Right? Oh. They're see? not even supposed to be here today. Got it? <laughs> yes. Yeah, I know. Uh, wh when do you think I might hear an answer? Uh, I'll, 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 well, I'll, 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 we'll be, let's just say we'll be in touch. All right, that might be a lawsuit just there alone. You can't be touching people. Okay, next. He ain't gonna work out.